Hey guys, Winston for Carbide3D here. Our tame programming monkey has been busy these past few weeks, and today I want to talk about some changes coming to the next version of our CNC control software, Carbide Motion 5. Version 5 is a ground up rewrite of Carbide Motion. No longer does the window contain a browser based interface, but a proper self contained application. In the long run, this will allow us more freedom to implement the features we want and provide you a more efficient, responsive experience. The basic layout and way you use version 5 is largely the same as version 4. You can connect to the machine, initialize it, follow any pop-ups if you have a bit setter, jog the CNC, load and run programs. The capabilities you're familiar with are all there, but there are some changes. The biggest visual change is to the settings screen. It's been rearranged and streamlined. Z-axis options, bit setter setup, homing switch indicators, they're all in this panel. One thing to note is that the only change that will trigger Carbide Motion to upload a fresh set of settings to the Shapeoko is if you select a different Z axis option. Additionally, the default Gerbil settings that are transmitted by Carbide Motion have been made less restrictive. Shapeokos will now be able to wrap it at 10,000 mm per minute as opposed to 5,000. You shouldn't cut this fast in most materials, but it is something to be aware of when you're working around the machine. When the Shapeoko is repositioning for cuts or moving to the tool change location, make sure your hands are clear. Unsurprisingly, the Nomad side of Carbide Motion is a little bit cleaner because there aren't as many options there. The settings panel is also where you can toggle between metric and imperial units. This is no longer in the jog window as it will affect dimensions displayed everywhere across the interface. A log of serial communications is now available without forcing the launch of a separate browser. Carbide Motion 5 also adds support for gamepads. You can move in all three axes and change jogging increments away from your computer. We've tested this feature with Xbox style controllers and the Logitech F310 gamepad. The mapping of controls will be provided in the video description. Give it a spin and let us know if it's something you find useful and how you like it. We're not beholden to a specific control scheme, so if you have any suggestions, leave a comment here or in the forums. Options in the jog window remain largely unchanged, though some jogging increments may be different. A word of caution to keyboard mashers though, under the hood we've built in additional safety checks to prevent runaway machines when jogging. Releasing any held key will interrupt jogging, so make sure you're only pressing and releasing one key at a time. Touchscreen input is also improved as right-click context menus have been eliminated, so now you won't see this if you frequently use a touchscreen. Carbide Motion 5 is under continuous development and we're not done adding features to it, but it is going to be our official CNC control solution going forward, and it's going to be better than version 4 in every way. Give it a spin and let us know how you like it or if you encounter any bugs. Links to download Carbide Motion 5 will be provided in the description below. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.